Hey, Tony, it's Chris. Happy Monday. I wanted to let you know that the lender, um, Franklin American, also known as Citizens Bank, um, is going to be sending you the initial disclosure packet for your loan um, this afternoon. Um, FYI, the email will probably come from Doc Magic as the um, address. So once I should get the email as well because there's some spots I need to sign. So once I get notification that the email has been sent out, I'll text you as well. Um, our plan is to submit the loan application to the lender um, today, and we should have our review uh, have it reviewed by an underwriter and approval by Wednesday at the latest uh, latest Thursday morning. Here is the initial disclosure that's going to be coming out to you. FYI, it does not reflect the $7,200 seller credit that we're asking for because we don't yet have um, a signed addendum saying that you and the seller are agreeing to that. So this is already outdated numbers because it doesn't reflect that $7,200 credit and the new purchase price of $359. But um, interest rate, 7.625%. You go to the second page, it shows um, points, 149 points. Um, when I locked with the other lender yesterday, it was 2,178 points. So we've got an instant improvement of over $2,000 here. Um, our commission, $4,500, is still the same. Um, then on here, I want to point out we are not having an escrow account. So the benefit of that is it's less money up front that you have to pay. You will have to pay property taxes when they come due. Um, but most likely what's going to happen is that the escrow company is going to collect property taxes um, through this transaction and send it off to Sac County um, for July through December. But that's six months four of those months are going to be the responsibility of the seller. So you're only going to be responsible for two months. And then the next property tax bill um, is not due until April of 2023. Um, on here, it shows estimated cash to close. And this is after we factor in the $5,000 deposit that you're going to give. And I'll get information on where you send that deposit um, later this afternoon. So really when we look at this, your estimated out of pocket is approximately $6,200. Um, when in fact, in fact, it's gonna be closer to 5,500 bucks, uh, sorry, $55,000 when we factor in the $7,200 credit. So um, your minimum down payment is 52,000. So we're structuring this in a way to where your out of pocket is again, roughly, well, let's just call it $4,000 more than what your, um, what your uh, down payment is. So uh, all in all, I think that the, that's a good thing. Uh, and as I'm talking, I see here doc magic in the lower right hand corner. So that is going to be the email address that this uh, document comes from. Let me know if you have any questions um, and we will be talking uh, periodically um, throughout the week. Thanks.